I'm Chris Moran, um, author of Mountain Biking Britain and Mountain Biking Europe. So it's been a great early start this morning. We've got the bikes packed in the car and we've uh, driven down to Dover. So we're now on the ferry heading over to uh, France where we're going to drive down to Chamonix and start the Three Countries Tour. It's a tour of the Mont Blanc Massif using mountain biking tracks. It's about 160 kilometres which is effectively the same as the skiing Hope route but the mountain biking equivalent. Our tour starts and finishes in Chamonix. Chamonix sits at the foot of Mont Blanc which is uh, Western Europe's highest peak at 4,810 metres. And Chamonix is steeped in alpine history. It's where alpine sport climbing started and it's been the home of all the other alpine sports since in snowboarding and now mountain biking. There's some guys who are here, uh, they turned up two days early, rode a little bit in Les Uches, rode a little bit in the valley just so they could uh, find their legs, yeah. get used to the altitude. So we've arrived in Chamonix. As you can see, it's really, really hot which is going to make for some pretty interesting cycling. We've been to uh, Zero G which is where we hire the bikes from. So the best bike is a full suspension and for us uh, the Storm Jumper FSR from Specialized is a perfect bike to do the free countries. For a bike like this for five days it's 240 euro. This is the, the Massif de Mont Blanc here and traditionally walkers will go this way. We go the other way around. We start from Chamonix, we go over to Switzerland first, uh, through Switzerland over into Italy and then here we go back into France. The walkers take about 10 days to do it. On mountain bikes we take about five days because obviously we're quicker uphill and down. The days are fairly equal. We, we, we're generally doing about 35 kilometers a day. And also in height gain, it's, it, it's roughly equal. We're, we're doing about 1,200 meters a day, more or less. If you average it out, it's sea level to top of Ben Nevis every day for five days. It's not a tour that I can recommend for beginners or, or people who don't mountain bike. You have to be fit and you have to be a reasonable bike handler. I think you progress, you get better over the week, you seem to get stronger as uh, you know the days go on. Well, we, wow. we tend to mountain bike probably three or four times a week. We cope with everything fitness-wise on the ups. Gentlemen, this is where at the Col de la Senya, 2,512 metres above sea level. This is the border between Italy and France. The ride down, it's a flowing single track, several several single tracks, you can jump from one to the other, there's multiple lines, it's not too steep, it's not too technical, it's, it's the best downhill of the week. It was fantastic, there was lots of, uh, there was lots of options, so you like crisscrossing with everybody and looking for um, the best route to go and uh, it's just great fun. You could really let rip on the descent. We've been stopping up some superb restaurants, so pretty much Italy, we'd have pasta, uh, Switzerland, we'd have some other type of uh, goulash type of dish, and of course French, you've got the cheeses and the sausages and the meats. Uh, this is where we spend the evening here in the Refugio Monte Bianco. Yeah, well, some of them have been um, like refuges, you know, where they've been bunk beds, um, but tonight we've got a beautiful hotel on the lake. It's absolutely fantastic, you know, really, really happy with tonight's accommodation. It's beautiful. You can see in the distance where just about the lake where we started this morning at the Chalet de Rosalon. Around every corner has been a different vista, you know, it's been absolutely fantastic scenery with glaciers, um, you know, waterfalls. It's been absolutely wonderful. Two hours and 11 minutes of hard work for this view. You couldn't find that anywhere else. The difficult thing is to take in all the scenery that you can see in a day without just watching your front wheel all the time. This is so picturesque, it's, it's so beautiful. The last little descent back down here, down through the forest, that Saint Gervais through the thermal park was just unreal. Yeah, we've just set off on a little train down from the fire. So today we've descended from 2,300 metres all the way down to 5.40 here at the uh, Thermal Park in uh, saint gervais les bains right. The route has been honed to what the, the best we feel it can be for a cyclist and also we provide uh, vehicle support so uh, you don't have to carry, carry anything, all you carry is a day pack. The biggest draw to going with the company is that you're not having to lug all your luggage with you because you couldn't do the descents, the single truck, if you were carrying all your bags. Million dollar question, how much is it? It's £575 this year, but it might go up. 
Depends on the exchange rate. <laughs> yeah. So that includes all your accommodation, all your food, bed, breakfast, evening meal and all your guiding. Doesn't include travel.